Hi everyone, this is Kevin Wang, co-founder of Nervous Network. I would like to thank everyone for coming today to kick off the second part of the Nervous Network Hackathon. This past year has been monumental for us uh, to build up the core infrastructures for developers. And then we're really excited that today we're entering the next phase of Nervous Network that um, our EVM compatible layer two is finally getting ready for developers to build applications. For this hackathon, we had such overwhelming support from everyone uh, for the part one that really surpassed our expectations. And then we're happy to see so many developers and teams are already preparing for uh, this part two of this hackathon. I want to add, even if you're not a participating developer, uh, or even you're not a developer, please still come to support as a community member or interested developers. Join our Discord channels for updates and live sessions and some giveaways that we're doing. Lastly, I would like to wish all developers who are taking part in the hackathon the best of luck. And I know the entire Nervous team is cheering for you and then looking forward to see uh, all the projects being built. Now I will turn things over to Jordan from Nervous Developer Relations team and he can help clarify some of the finer points of the hackathon. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jordan and I'm a senior software engineer at Nervos. I wanted to take a few minutes to walk you through the goals and judging criteria of the hackathon. As you've probably heard, the theme is DeFi. This should give you some idea of what you could build, but in order to win a prize, you need to understand what the judges are looking for. The goal is to create market-ready applications. This means complete user-facing dApps that are ready for the users to interact with and have the potential to live on in the ecosystem long after the hackathon has ended. It may sound daunting, but don't let this frighten you. This is a hackathon, the time is limited, and some of the infrastructure which you will be using is still in the testnet phase. The judges are not expecting everything to be ready to launch when the hackathon ends. However, they are looking for an application that they can interact with as if they were a normal user using a live product. Next, let's talk about the judging criteria. There are six categories and each category is given a score between zero and five. The first category is the theme fit. The theme for this hackathon is DeFi. So if your project isn't DeFi related, you'll be missing out on a few easy points. We realize that DeFi can take many different forms. So if you're unsure if your idea fits the theme properly, then feel free to drop by the Discord and ask us. The second category is originality and innovation. Cloning an existing open source project can be a great way to start, but if it ends there, it's not really helping to push the industry forward. The judges will be looking for those new and interesting ideas that haven't been fully explored yet. The third category is ease of use. We're trying to attract more and more everyday people to our industry, not scare them away. So it's absolutely essential that the user interface be something that is simple enough so that anyone who has used a DAP before can easily figure it out. The fourth category is sustainability. Does your idea have the potential to be long-term successful? It's great if people love your product, but if it can't generate revenue, then it might not be around too long. This is why the judges will be specifically looking for projects that they believe will be eventually self-sustaining in the future. The fifth category is technical complexity. Projects are not required to be complicated, but if it's something that's technically challenging, the judges will award points based on that. And the final category is level of completion. Remember, the goal is to create applications that are as close to market ready as possible. They don't have to be completely ready, but the closer the better. Now the part that everyone is the most interested in, the prizes. A total of $150,000 in cash prizes is up for grabs in this three week long hackathon. There is a first place prize of $40,000 USD. There's two second place prizes of $20,000 each. There are five third place prizes of $10,000. And finally, there are 10 honorable mention prizes of $2,000 each. This is a total of 18 prizes, all of which will be paid out in the CKB currency to our winners. The last thing I wanna to mention today is the nervous community on Discord. We highly recommend that everyone participating in any capacity join the Gitcoin Hackathon channel on Discord. There you'll be able to speak directly to Nervo staff and engineers who can help answer your questions and help you work through any of the problems that you might be having. 
our staff is limited and we do have to sleep sometimes so you might not get always be able to get an answer immediately but we'll do everything we can to help nervos's discord is also a great place to meet other people in the community and in an industry during the hackathon some of the community members will also be hosting various games for anyone who wants to unwind in the off hours if you're interested in networking then this is absolutely the place to be and if you're still not convinced let me give you one more reason during the hackathon, random giveaways will be occurring for everybody who's present. Everyone is eligible for the giveaways and you don't have to be a developer. All you need to do is be there when they start giving out prizes. To all the teams participating, good luck and we can't wait to see what you'll be building.